Similarly we get all other y coordinate values by substituting the x values as shown in the following table. Substitute x is equal to minus 1 then we get y is equal to minus 1 square minus 3 into minus 1 minus 4. This is equal to 1 plus 3 minus 4. This implies y is equal to 0. Similarly let us check for x is equal to 0. We get y is equal to 0 square minus 3 into 0 minus 4. This is equal to 0 plus 0 minus 4. This implies y is equal to minus 4. Next, substitute x is equal to 1. We get y is equal to 1 square minus 3 into 1 minus 4. This is equal to 1 minus 3 minus 4. This implies y is equal to minus 6. Substitute x is equal to 2. We get y equals 2 square minus 3 into 2 minus 4. This is equal to 4 minus 6 minus 4. This implies y is equal to minus 6. Substitute x is equal to 3. We get y is equal to 3 in square minus 3 into 3 minus 4. This is equal to 9 minus 9 minus 4. This implies y is equal to minus 4. Substitute x is equal to 4 we get. y is equal to 4 square minus 3 into 4 minus 4. This is equal to 16 minus 12 minus 4. This implies y is equal to 0. Substitute x is equal to 5 we get. y is equal to 5 square minus 3 into 5 minus 4. This is equal to 25 minus 15 minus 4. This implies y is equal to 6. Now let's plot the above points or coordinate on a graph. If we locate the points listed in the table on a graph paper and draw the graph, it will actually look like this. Finally, from the graph we can observe that arrows indicating the points shows that it intersects the x-axis at x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 4. The shape of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c, i is not equal to 0 is always a parabola. The shape of the parabola of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c, a is not equal to 0 depends on a. If i is greater than 0, then the parabola opens upwards that is. If i is less than 0, then the parabola opens downwards. From the graph of y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4, we can observe that the x coordinates minus 1 and 4 are zeros of the quadratic polynomial. Thus, the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square minus 3x minus 4 are x coordinates of the points where the graph of y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4 intersects the x axis. Note, the zeros of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c i is not equal to 0 are precisely the x coordinates of the points where the parabola representing y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c intersects the x axis. Let's now learn the shape of the graph of quadratic polynomial in different cases. The shape of the graph of quadratic polynomial y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c can take place in three cases which are given as follows. Let's see the case a. Here, the graph cuts x-axis at two distinct points a and a dash. The x-coordinates of a and a dash are the two zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. Here, arrow indicates that in graph, the curve cuts the x-axis at a and a dash. Now we shall see case b. Here, the graph cuts the x-axis at exactly one point, that is, at two coincident points. So, the two points A and A dash of case 1 coincide here to become one point, A. Here, arrow indicates that in graph, the curve cuts the x-axis at A, or at one point. Therefore, the x-coordinate of A is the only zero, for the quadratic polynomial AX square plus BX plus C. In case, C, the graph is either completely above the x-axis, or completely below the x-axis. So, it does not cut the x-axis at any point. Here in graph, the curve doesn't cut the x-axis, and it is indicated using arrow. Therefore, the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c have no zeros in this case. 
from the above three cases, geometrically a quadratic polynomial can have either two distinct zeros or two equal zeros, that is, one zero, or no zeros. Thus a polynomial of degree 2 has at most two zeros. Now let's discuss about geometrical representation of the polynomial, on the graph, four cubic polynomials. To find the zeros of the cubic polynomial, let's try to explain with an example. Please note that, if we know the x-coordinate values then, alternatively we get the y-coordinate values, by substituting x-value in equation. Consider the equation y is equal to x, cube minus 4x. So, substituting x is equal to minus 2, we get, y is equal to minus 2 cube, minus 4 into minus 2. This is equal to minus 8 plus 8. Here cancel positive and negative values. This implies y is equal to 0. Similarly we get all other y coordinate values, by substituting the x values as shown in the following table. Substitute x is equal to minus 1 we get, y is equal to minus 1 cube, minus 4 into minus 1. This is equal to minus 1 plus 4, this implies y is equal to 3.